I think the biggest challenge has been trying to work with the the animation and the period and the expectations of the people in this film, um, the actors and the director, and to, to an extent production design, and trying to bring those things all together so that you end up with something that references the animation but has moved on from the animation and is particular to this film. We approach the, the costumes um, very much with the animated film in mind. So Belle's costumes are based broadly on the animated film. So we decided that the film would open with Belle's costume being an homage to the blue costume in the animation. The yellow dress was always going to be yellow in our movie as an homage to the animation. What we try to do is to reinterpret those original costumes and to give, to flesh them out a bit, to make them real living costumes and not animated costumes. So to put texture in, to, to put more garments in, to make it a more complex image, but ultimately as a reference to the animation. To take Belle's village dress as an example of, of us interpreting the, the animation, would be to think, if you think about each individual piece in our costume and how it is a new way of looking at the same costume. We started, for instance, with Belle wearing boots on her feet. We started with slouch, slouchy socks pushed down. She had bloomers. She had her skirt hoiked up at the side into her waistband. She had an apron. She had pockets. She had a bodice, not a corset. Um, she had her blouse. She had her jacket. And the whole, the, the reason for all of those things were, there were many reasons, but one of the core reasons was because we wanted to present her as an active heroine, so that she had, she wore boots so that she could run around the village. She wasn't wearing delicate shoes. She was wearing shoes that would enable her to do anything that she needed to do in the village. She had pockets in which she kept all the things she might need. She's very practical. She's an inventor. She's the daughter of an inventor. She is always thinking of ways of improving the village. She's, she's an active heroine. The yellow dress was one of the most difficult things to achieve, even though watching the movie you might think it's quite an obvious choice. In fact, what happened is we went through a long um, design process where we tried different looks and we, we experimented with different ways of interpreting the yellow dress. I mean, it was always given that the dress would be yellow. Um, it was just about how we made it our dress and how our dress stood in relation to the animation. Where we ended up in the end was in concentrating, it was quite a simple dress, quite a, a close interpretation of the animation. And what became, what became clear was important was the movement. So in fact, it was a very soft structure which was built up by, with meters and meters of silk organza, all dyed yellow, and cut broadly in a circular shape so that the movement, um, so that it emphasized her movement. Because there was a plot point of Garda Roba sprinkling Belle's dress with gold, we, we had to work out how we were going to interpret that on our yellow dress. And it turned out to be in a multiple, <laughs> multiple ways, which was in printing gold leaf onto the dress, and printing um, a sort of puffer um, print, which we embedded gold glitter into, and then Swarovski crystalline those motifs. So there's different levels of, of um, adornment on the yellow. From the earliest weeks of prep, we've been working on physical costumes for the beast. From, in those weeks, it was never certain whether the beast would be a prosthetic beast or a CG beast. But in terms of the costume department's work on the beast, we, made three, we have made three-dimensional costumes. So we have a costume for each stage of the beast's story which exist, and at the moment we're looking at them on a maquette, but in the fullness of time, um, the visual effects department will scan these costumes and they will then use our physical costumes as the core costume that they then apply to their CG beast. So it's a, a process that I'm not exactly sure how it works, but um, that's the plan.